Good morning, I'm Chris Cardona, and thanks for coming along on the Day 3 Highlights here on board Scarlet Lady, coming up on Talking Cruise. Can you tell it's the first port day on this cruise? Not a single person in the pool or around the pool. Uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty light on the ship today and uh, I think I'll just go off, take some pictures of the ship. I uh, really haven't had a chance to actually see the, the ship except for the drive up at uh, Port Miami. So I'm excited to get some good uh, footage of the actual hull and design of uh, Scarlet Lady. Okay, workout's done. That means it's time for a strong coffee and then find breakfast. So I got coffee, check, and now I'm here back at the galley and uh, gonna be having breakfast. There's lots of choices from all the different food cart areas that you can uh, select from, but I'm just gonna go old school and grab something from the uh, diner over here. So welcome to day three on board Scarlet Lady. I'm not sure if I mentioned this yet, but there are these uh, vans that you'll be given. Um, if you book in advance, more than the two days that I booked before this cruise, um, these will actually be sent to your home, and I believe they're personalized as well. Um, they say that they're made from recycled uh, ocean plastics and, and such, so that's a cool thing. Uh, but these will allow you to get into your room, it's for all the charges on board, um, and there's a certain level, I'm sure, of trackability with these. Um, however, if you want to go old school and you're not really big on wearing something throughout your entire voyage, you can get a card, uh, swap it out and get a replacement card. Um, which will work in your door and you can use it for charges and all that good stuff so just to let you know but uh, this really I don't even feel like I have it on most of the time and it's waterproof and uh, yeah it's for me it's fine but just want to let you know all right so I'm going a little simple this morning just to egg white omelet um, with some bacon and uh, they have these sweet potato tots which uh, I actually really like a lot and they happen to have them and uh, just some toast and some preserves and yeah that's pretty much all I want this morning uh, but there's something civilized about coming here and sitting down and somebody coming and actually taking an order and having to walk around and hunt down your food for breakfast lunch or for dinner um, this is really the way to do it if you want something a little more casual but uh, yeah, just another great uh, experience here on board the, the ship. All right, we're going to get off the ship in Costa Maya for a little bit, uh, really just to get some exterior shots of the ship and uh, maybe just tool around for a little bit. But uh, let's cool. check it out. All right, we're getting off the ship. This is Costa Maya, as I said. And uh, see how lucky we are to try to get some... Yes, those are other ships. That's the summit and the Maravilla. And here is finally a very close up look at Scarlet Lady. We'll walk a little bit and get some better vantage point. We're not really going to go into Costa Maya today. It's not really my plan to, to get off the ship and go too far, but if you have not been to Costa Maya before, uh, it's a great port for you to pick up some uh, cultural tours, uh, historical tours, and uh, people are extremely friendly. There is actually a water park in here as well, so if you want to do something close by uh, the port, you can book that as an excursion. Uh, and then they have like zip lining and, and stuff like that as well. There's the big Virgin Voyages plastered on the side of the ship, and the ship uh, really stands out because it has like this battleship gray color, uh, which is quite. Uh, a big contrast from other cruise lines white hulls or blues and so forth so it's uh, another unique thing from virgin voyages all right we're just going to head into the port arrival area here where they have the kind of touristy shops and uh, see if i can get a better view because it doesn't look like from where our ship is docked that i'm going to be able to get a clear uh, profile of the ship probably have to wait till we get to uh, bimini in a couple of days but uh, i'll do my best from here so welcome to Costa Maya. So as I 
said uh, when you just get off the ship, you'll come to this welcome center. If you want the real experience though, you need to go past all this and get into the uh, town area. And from there you can take the excursions and so forth. But right now we're on the hunt to get a picture of the ship. And here's some of the shops selling souvenirs. And of course Diamonds International, which is pretty much everywhere in the Caribbean. Where's that ship at? Feeling if we go along the coast here, we might we well, can get an aft shot of the ship, but not uh, We found Nemo. <laughs> here, he's been here all along. There's this massive bar right here. If uh, you're thirsty, I'm sure they'll have it here. And then they have swimming with the dolphins. And there's a pool here as well. We're continuing on the search for Scarlet Lady. A lot of the area right along the water when you come into the port area in Costa Maya um, is bars and stuff. So, um, you, or if you're taking one of the excursions that they have here, so you can't always kind of get in there uh, unless you obviously patronize them in some way. But uh, I'll see what I can do. I'll, I'll stop and have a drink. I have no problem with that. Okay, pretty much walking as far as I can and look over there is the ship. We did it. Came all the way to the end here in Costa Maya at the uh, tourist area. And there she is, Scarlet Lady. She really is a beautiful ship. Um, very unique, very striking colors, design. I mean, it has a little similar aft end uh, to MSC Seaside, which uh, all these ships, I believe, are built on the same platform, uh, same shipyard even. So they, they do have that and even the uh, the new Norwegian Prima has a similar look as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, each of them have their own kind of unique elements that they add to it. Well, I'm glad we were able to make it. And uh, now we'll head back and get a few close-ups on the way back to the ship. So we were successful. Got to see the other side of the ship. And uh, next time we uh, get off, we'll be in Bimini. Can't wait for uh, explore the Bimini Beach Club and uh, just Bimini in, it, in itself. Uh, it's quite new for uh, cruise ship arrival, so uh, very excited about that. So we'll get back on the ship and uh, have some more fun today on our third day on uh, Scarlet Lady. All right, it is lunchtime on day three, and I am going to Razzle Dazzle. I'll be coming here for dinner later in the week as well, but I heard there is a very special menu item that is not to be missed and I want to bring that to you and I want to enjoy it. So here we go. So a uh, little bird told me that this uh, place, Razzle Dazzle, is, uh, has an awesome sandwich and it is a fried chicken sandwich on a black bun. Uh, just looks fantastic and I think these are the same seasoned fries I had. Uh, I forget where I had them but anyway they've, they've been good wherever I have them. Oh upstairs in uh, the galley. And then uh, this is actually an Impossible Burger. If you've been watching my videos, a few weeks ago I was on, actually two weeks ago I was on Freedom of the Sea, had my first Impossible Burger ever at Playmakers, and I saw it on the menu here, and now I'm on this tear to try as many Impossible Burgers as I can. So uh, that's the Impossible Burger and the fried chicken sandwich here at Razzle Dazzle. And we are sailing away from Costa Maya with uh, Sea Day tomorrow and Bimini after that. Cruises half over, do I dare say that? But it kind of is. All right, so we're gonna continue the culinary feast and tonight we'll be going to the test kitchen where uh, this is a multi-course kind of tasting menu and uh, look forward just to seeing the prep and how they 
uh, incorporate all the different ingredients. So let's uh, check it out. First, uh, okay. uh, I would like to take you open, open ingredients, please. Oh. So what is this? Are, uh, based on the shava tea, hibiscus rose petals, cinnamon, ginger beer, oh. and honey. Just to refresh your palate before we start our dinner. Okay. So, uh, mixology has created signature cocktails. And uh, also we do a cocktail pairing. And from this place we have a huge uh, great selection of wine. Wow. You can order it for your meal. Nice. And also we do a wine pairing and video pairing with your set menu. Oh, very nice. You should try six courses meal tonight. And you can order it all to us, whatever you like. You can see they're putting the final touches on some of the desserts. Uh, I'm not quite there yet. I'm still looking over the menu. But uh, this is great. It keeps you right in the midst of all the activity. And uh, look forward to this here at uh, Test Kitchen. So I'm here at the Test Kitchen, and it's night three on board Scarlet Lady. And this is one of the venues on board this brand new ship that I was most excited for, really for years, since they first started rolling out and, and dis discussing some of the new features and dining establishments that were gonna be coming on board the ship. And uh, this place here is really gonna uh, fuse uh, food and beverage. So it's really like a chef's tasting menu. There's six different courses. You have some choices as far as uh, your protein uh, between a venison and a filet, a beef filet. And uh, then you have choices as well for pairing. Uh, if you don't want to pair with a beverage, you don't need to. Uh, but they have uh, beer, they have wine, they have cocktails, and then they have some non-alcoholic choices as well. And then you would just pay based on the different package that you select. Um, and I think that's, that's great to be able to have that. So I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's all about the presentation, and I'm right here uh, being able to see them actually plate a lot of the, the dishes. So uh, we'll bring you along, and uh, here we go. Okay, so here we have course number one. And if you're thinking this looks like a mushroom, well, guess what? It's made of mushroom, but it's actually not a mushroom piece of a mushroom. So a lot of what you're going to see tonight is, is taking ingredients and then reimagining them into... Uh, something else and in this case it is mushroom it's made with different types of mushrooms portobello I believe um, and uh, they've constructed this and it's kind of like a pate and uh, you'll see that here and you also have some crostini on the side uh, to go with it so this uh, is a good start here we go with round two. Oh, fancy look at that we have the peas and eggs. So at the bottom of this, you'll find some kale puree. Okay. English peas lunch, so nice and crunchy. Topped with a two-hour confit of egg yolk. And the black one is sturgeon caviar. Some edible flour. So the idea is to mix it up all together and spread with a nice guinea for here. Wow, that's great. Thank you so much. So I'm glad he explained it because I probably wouldn't be able to explain it as well. So looks great. I'm gonna dig in here. And uh, I also chose to do the wine pairing. So uh, each one of these courses is coming with uh, a different one. And so far, been great, great uh, choices. So we're two courses in and everything's been great so far. One thing I did want to mention that aside from the fantastic food that I've had here so far this week, the design of all the establishments, all the restaurants is equally as nice. They really put a lot of uh, thought into making each space feel unique and kind of go with the concept that they were trying to uh, achieve. And I think they really did that uh, to a great extent. So um, you'll, you'll really get a treat for your eyes visually when you're in the space. Um, the food looks beautiful as well. And you'll see uh, just how well it goes with what you're uh, enjoying that evening. Sea scallop. Sea scallop. Scallop to sea lettuce, the red, the green one, the red one. Mm -hmm. And seaweed, the green one. Nice. Scallop to sea lettuce, the red. Seaweed on the left, which is the um, next garnish. Okay. So raw no ham in the middle, and the sea scallop slice enough so you can see the texture down the center. Nice. And I'm going to be pouring a little serrano ham broth. Oh wow! Nice. Your scallop. All right. Thank you. I really enjoyed that the serrano ham. Just in case you missed it, that was a serrano ham seaweed, uh, serrano ham broth, and two seared, uh, well, one seared scallop cut into two pieces. Uh, it's a really good play on bacon-wrapped scallops, which is quite popular. 
uh, of course, trying to do it a different way here at the test kitchen. Just the plating of that mushroom pate is kind of like an artist, uh, you know, just placing it perfectly on the plate. Red one is platter to roasted beef puree. Beef puree? Beef puree. Around, we just to give a citizen to the dish, a pickled blueberry. Okay, chocolate trick, the one put on top, a bitterness and sweetness, and the venison juice. Finish it up, okay? Nice. Looks like a simple dish. Looks like a block, but it's not. It's a very technical dish. You will see potato puppet, very thinly sliced potato. Mm -hmm. Thinly sliced, each and every slice is spread with garlic and butter. Wow. Topped with powdered bacon. Powdered bacon, wow. <laughs> Never go wrong with that. Yeah. Nope, thank you. So we're on course number five here, and if you think this looks like ice cream, it's close. It's actually blue cheese, but it's a uh, semi fredo, so just a little bit frozen. And uh, it has some uh, pears along the outside, and uh, I think a little bit of honey. It uh, looks very glistening. So we're on to the sixth and final course, which is dessert. And uh, this is a chocolate layer cake. And if you think that looks like a flower, that's actually vanilla that is somehow turned into a flower looking thing. It's just amazing what they can do these days with molecular gastronomy and a little bit of patience because I saw the gentleman making these and let's just say he, he was doing like 30 at a time and it was incredibly painstaking uh, the process, but job well done. Okay, so something spectacular. This is the Red Room and looking forward to a really cool show in here tonight. So this is the inside of the Red Room, the performance theater. A couple of poles on the stage. Not sure where this is going, but it uh, looks interesting. Thanks for coming along on day three here on board Scarlet Lady. Don't forget to like this video, post your comments and questions, and subscribe for more Talking Cruise.